for me, for being who we really are, then let them laugh because I would rather be laughed at and talked about being who I really am than walking around, not wearing what I really want to wear, not buying what I really can't afford and feeling confident with it because somebody else is going to say something. We live in a world where things, material things, they're replicated. It's just what it is, okay? And not everyone, you know, who can afford these things wants to spend that type of money on those things. And everyone will have an opinion. Well, if you can't afford it, then don't wear it. Or, you know, somebody might be dreaming. I remember long time ago, a lot of the things that I'm doing now, like, okay, let me show you something real quick. This picture right here. This is a collage. I don't want it to be in the light. Just kind of look at me right there, um, right here. Okay, this is me when I was in high school. And um, this is, you know, my husband and I. This is another picture um, of me when we were going to the prom of high school. This is high school as well. I'm trying to keep it from the light. But you can't see it clearly. Bottom line, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to make the point in a minute. This is another picture, okay, um, of me and the kids. Christmas time. Okay. My point is when I was in high school and my first few years of college and then my graduate degree experience um, in college, I wasn't Dr. Cole at that time. I didn't have the money that I have now. But my point is I still, you know, it's in my book. I still felt like I had the right to dream. You know, yes, I have purchased what people call knockoff. Um, I call it replica. Uh, it doesn't matter, you know, it's fine. But I also have authentic pieces too. And I'm telling you for me, I can't speak for you, but for me, I don't feel any less important. I don't feel any less important if I have an authentic name brand product, which I have or um, a replica version of the original version of something that I have, I, I don't. You know, I don't feel anything about it. I just don't because, again, for me, I can't speak for everyone. I carry myself for who I am. You know, this is who I am. I'm flashy. I like big rings. You know, I don't like little rings. So, for me... The rings that I like and the way that I um, am, like I don't like to wear the same jewelry pieces every day or the same handbags every day or, you know, the same shoes every day. So for me, when it comes to jewelry and rings, the rings that I like are always big and it would just be ridiculous, I mean, to spend that type of money for me on wearing a ring that I don't want to wear tomorrow or I'll wear three days this week and then, you know, I'm going to want to wear something else because of the clothes that I have on. It would just be absolutely ridiculous for me in my mindset. So, you know, and, and I believe that, um, you know, just because you have it, you don't have to go crazy with it. You know, don't put yourself in debt trying to be and keep up with not necessarily somebody else, but what's going on in the world. Don't do that. No, don't do that. Um, if you want to and you got it like that, then go ahead. Do what you want to do. But, um, you know, I'm okay with it. it. It doesn't bother me. Again, call me crazy, you know, um, foolish, whatever you want. I just think that if I see something I like when I'm out, if I like it, if I like the design of it, I'm going to get it, period, point blank. I'm going to get it, and I'm going to wear it with confidence, honey. And as I stated, I want you, you right there watching me, if you're a young baby growing up in the world, you're in school, 
you know, growing up in this social media era, if you're an adult who has lived much life, but you still don't feel like you're able to really be yourself, I am here to tell you, to encourage you, to inspire you, be who you are. People are going to like it, and people are going to love it, and then other people are going to hate it. And you're going to always have negative people in the world. They're always going to be around. They're going to always find a problem with something you do. It doesn't matter what it is. I mean, you hear the saying all the time, but it's true. It doesn't matter. Somebody's going to dislike everything. I find people who are offended by kindness. Isn't that nuts? Uh, but yeah, some people are offended by you being too nice or too kind. They call that, oh, she's fake. Or he's fake. Nobody's that nice. Nobody's that perky all the time. Everyone comes from different backgrounds, different exposures. And it makes a difference in how you react and treat people, how you look at people, how you perceive them and what they're doing. And in comparison related to you, I don't compare myself to people. I am Lakeisha Cole. And that's all... I'm going to be is Lakeisha Cole. Um, I don't know if I make my point. Sometimes I get mixed up, but my point is, is when I was younger, I dreamed, I saw myself, I'm telling you people, I saw myself living a different life before I ever made that life. Like I saw myself images of myself and my mind living a life at the time that I wasn't living. And I'm telling you, I'm living it now. The pictures and the images that I saw in my early 20s were a reflection of what I became in my 30s and 40s. And I saw it. I saw the image clear in my head and I have images now of what will be later on. It might be two weeks from now, uh, two months from now, the end of the year, next year, five years from now. My point is, I'm always, I call it God. I believe that God shows me a, or gives me a revelation of things that I desire or things that will come to pass in a positive mindset uh, materialistically speaking, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Like I see material images of what I'm going to live later. And for some reason, I've been right so far. I saw my degree on the wall. I saw my husband. Um, the fact that I was going to have two sons, uh, that I was going to be like some type of influence. It could have been just like a, a minor career influence like I have now, but I saw myself doing things and living a different life. And it's like when I look at my pictures now, the things that I had then, it was just a reflection of who I am today. I couldn't even do it back then, but my point is my mindset was there. And when I look at pictures from my youth or younger, um, when I was in my teens, 20s, I was actually, you would think that I was where I am now. And so my point is why I keep telling people, it's okay to dream. It's okay if you can't get the original, buy a replica version of it. You know, they have replica cars, replica, uh, what is it, uh, art that you can purchase. Just different things. You know, it's okay. You're in the process of building your life. If you're young or if you're older, you're, we're all in the process. We're always in a process, in a progress of building. And you will get where you're trying to be. So it starts somewhere. It starts in the mind. And you have to see yourself in your future. You have to see where you're going. You're not going to have all the answers and understand it, but it's okay to dream. It's okay to be. 
Uh, you will see on my TikTok, in my books, uh, in writings, in my Instagram, I'm always encouraging this because there are too many people who are not living the way that they want to live because it's not okay with someone else. Someone else is offended by your dreams. The fact that you want to have more than what you feel you have now. The fact that you want to achieve higher. The fact that you want to improve your life and be a better person, a better wife, a better husband, a better uh, parent. People are offended by that. A better career professional. You want to have a better car. People get offended if they don't think that way. So live your life. Be confident. Be confident in you. There is a God in you. Okay? There is universal positive energy, infinite wisdom inside of you that has a bigger goal for your life than what you see now. And it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how young you are. It does not matter what you've achieved thus far financially. You're who you are and you can be who you are. Do what you want to do. Be real and authentic to yourself, honey. Okay? That's who you need to be authentic with. Yourself. Your true self. Who God created you to be. Who you were designed and destined to be. Uh, please stay inspired, stay uplifted, and know that get your mind going. You know, uh, believe in yourself, whatever level you're on. Some of you are, you know, professionals who you've done way more than I've done. Uh, I may have done more than you've done. It doesn't matter. We're all here to encourage and inspire somebody else with our lives and with our talents and gifts and abilities. So I want to inspire you, to encourage you. This is all about positivity. Uh, to dream and to live with confidence, being who you are. You are enough. You are enough. Where you are right now, you're enough. And you need to say that to yourself every day. Look in the mirror every day and tell yourself you are enough. You are a beautiful person. The way that you were created is beautiful. And you have a, a life full of wonderful, wonderful things to look forward to. Please go to thefaithoutcome.com. Get my products. Get my books. Read them. Take them with you. Share them with someone else. Share my videos with someone else if the content is something that you know someone else can benefit from. We are one love. We're here. We're very different, but we are here. The world will go round because of our differences and what we bring to the table. So I hope so much that this video has been encouraging for you. Um, as I stated, you know, I'm going to be improving my content and my video quality. But right now, what's most important to me is that I'm here and I'm giving you something to be inspired by. Please share this website with other people and allow it to be motivating for you. I wish you a very wonderful, happy day and um, a great weekend and just success blessings love peace and joy and true happiness in your heart that you can live with have a wonderful 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 day this is dr cole and i'm out